If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Wait, I'm oh, sorry. Did I just hear that correctly? Yeah, this former senior military intelligence officer testified under oath in front of a House committee today that not only has the U.S. government recovered extraterrestrial crafts, but he says the government has also collected biologics from the extraterrestrial beings who were allegedly piloting those crafts. Now, the Pentagon has actually denied this man's claims in the past, but those were just some of the many details that came out of today's subcommittee hearing on unidentified anomalous phenomena. You probably know it as UFOs. The bipartisan group of House members held a hearing because they believe they're being kept in the dark when it comes to UAPs, the government's investigations and research into them, and yes, even the alleged practice of recovery and reverse engineering those UAP materials collected. But the intelligence officer wasn't the only witness to testify. Two other witnesses, both retired Navy pilots, each described their own personal encounters with UAPs in the sky. During a training mission in Warning Area Whiskey 72, 10 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach, two F-18 Super Hornets were split by a UAP. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be 5 to 15 feet in diameter. The mission commander terminated the flight immediately and returned to base. Retired Navy Commander David Fravor was one of the pilots who first discovered the now infamous 2004 Tic Tac object off the coast of San Diego that was ultimately caught on video. He says the incident was never fully investigated. All four of us, because we were in F-18Fs, so we had pilots and Wizzo in the back seat, looked down a small, saw a white Tic Tac object with a longitudinal axis pointing north-south and moving very abruptly over the water like a ping pong ball. There were no rotors, no rotor wash, or any sign of visible control surfaces like wings. And the object, ob object suddenly shifted its longitudinal axis, aligned it with my aircraft, and began to climb. Our altitude at this point was about 15,000 feet, and the Tic Tac was about 12,000. As we pulled nose onto the object within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerated in front of us and disappeared. Now, the topic of UAPs has crept more and more into the mainstream in recent years. The Pentagon just recently released a report that said it has investigated about 800 UAP reports since May. The military says most cases can easily be explained, but there are certainly other incidents that cannot be explained. And it's those incidents Congress wants more information about and is demanding oversight of, especially because of the national security implications. Uh, is it possible that these UAPs would be probing our capabilities? Yes or no, Mr. Graves? Yes. Rush? Yes. Braver? Definitely. 